Hey, hello and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm Vite from CEO Design and I'm glad to be your tutor for today. Have you been in that situation where you are given a low quality image by, by a client? Or probably you went to a photo sharing site and the only image you could lay your hand on was a low quality file. Then you really needed that shift from low quality to a high quality file or high rex file. Trust me, this tutorial is for you. Let's go there. Okay, so I already have my image opened on Adobe Photoshop CC 2020 and I actually got this picture from a free photo sharing site and it's as if the lady is really angry with, with me that why am I looking this low and <laughs> don't worry madam, less than five minutes will get you to look much 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 better in high rex than this. Okay, so in this tutorial we will have four simple steps that we can use to achieve the shift from a low quality image to a high rex or high quality image so just stick around and be, be very attentive okay the first step we we'll go to edit and we'll go to preferences edit preferences then we we'll click on technology previews now in technology previews you mark this small box close to enable preserve details 2.0 upscale just mark it and click on okay okay First step down. Now, second step, we we'll increase this image size. So to do this, we go to image and image size. Okay, uh, because this image is in low quality, I want it to be in high quality. It's it's very obvious that the image size should increase. True of us, or true or true, true. Okay. Um, so if you check here, you see the image is actually is currently in 740 by 493 pixels. So we want to pop this thing to like 1000, 2000 and so on. Okay, but the way we'll do this is we we'll come to this resolution and we pop this guy to 300. Okay, now just zoom this guy down a little bit. Okay, if you check our width and height now, automatically it just increased to 3000 by 2000. And so in Lehman Grammar, what resolution actually does it, you know, when you open an image and you keep zooming, 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 zooming to you, the maximum zoom that you can have for the image. You start seeing small squares, small squares. And if you notice, you, you, you discover that your image will actually, like, they're sitting on those boxes. They're sitting on those little, little squares. So what resolution does it? It increases the number of squares. So making your image have more squares to sit on, thereby making it higher than before. Uh, explanation to the layman, let's continue. Okay, so what we checked before the technology technology preview, don't mind my, my tongue, actually enabled this option for us. So if you are not seeing preserve details 2.0, you could actually click on this drop down, um, uh, drop down bar to so get this drop, and then you click on preserve detail 2.0. Now we now come to reduce noise. This slide actually does this. Check your preview. This is your preview here. When you pop this guy. To the max, you see, it's it's made it's made the image very clean, but it's kind of looking plastic and looking very artificial. So we have to slide this uh uh anchor to where we get something natural but still looking neat. Okay. All right. Okay, I think I'll go with this and let me just keep on twenty. Okay, I think I like that. So I hit on okay. So after the process finishes, it pops your image. Remember, we said we are increasing the image size. So we can take it back. We can um, fit the image to our screen by holding Control and hitting zero on your keyboard, so it fits to screen. Okay. So step two down. So for this step three, we want to assess the camera raw filter. That's why we we'll do some some tweak to this image, and it gets better than before. So, but before we do that, we have to convert our image to a smart object. Now, if you ask me, why do I need to convert my image to a smart object? Is this, if you don't convert your image to a smart object and you do an edit in the camera filter, you can't um, edit those particular edits. But once your image is, is on 
smart objects you can actually just double click and go back to <coughs> excuse me you can actually just double click and go back to camera filter and still adjust one or two and save and it applies to your image so camera um, smart objects kind of uh, preserves your image that hey young man you can still come back and edit oh you can still come back and change you can still come back and revert your changes that's what the smart object helps you to achieve okay so we we go to filter and we go to camera or filter so it's coming up okay fine now this is the camera or filter so we have the basic we have the curves we have the details okay we'll start with the basic very quickly come down to texture just pop this guy a little bit it adds some texture to the skin uh, or it pops up the textures in the skin you know every, our skin have textures and we have textures all around an image every every corner <laughs> you can see textures there so once you pop this guy it kind of pops up texture some more and also pop this clarity it all depends on your image while you are doing that be checking your image by the left so you could pop clarity and see it all oh, looks so stupid <laughs> okay so um uh, let's come down so that's i said it all depends on your image so don't cram these settings don't cram it just be looking at the image while you're adjusting your sliders okay so i just leave my clarity see it's bringing some richness to my image now after doing that, I could scroll down, way down to detail. I like this guy so much. Now, in detail, I want to sharpen this image a little bit. Not a little bit. Now, let me see. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Then, after sharpening the image, I will now reduce the noise of my sharpening. Uh, the sharpening effect I added, it added some noise to it. So, I'll put this guy up here. And it reduces the noise. Wow. That is crazy. Watch before, after, before, after. Wow, that's that's very crazy. So I click on okay. <clears throat> okay, so it applies my camera go filter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now let's just zoom in a little bit. Now, before the camera go filter and after the camera go filter. Wow, that's really nice. Okay. Now, the last step we are doing, the last step we are doing is this. And this is the fourth step. And this, the, this is what we do. We just zoom out this guy a little bit, okay? So, we go to filter and we go to noise. I'll say we use noise, yes. Okay, just bring this guy a little bit, zoom out a little bit. Now, if you check around here, you see some color noise around here and also around there. It all depends on the picture. There are some pictures after the third steps. Third step, you may not really need to do this fourth step, but I'm still having some dirty noise around here, so I just really want to touch it down a little bit. So I could play with every of this slider. Now this first slider is saying strength, strength of my reduced noise. Um, okay, like how how strong should this should this wizard? Uh, affects my my image so i'm giving it a strength of six that puts much much more effort puts much effort now this one said preserve details preserve the details of my image so the more i increase this guy the more it preserves my details and if it's preserving my details so much it means it's not really reducing anything so i don't want this guy to be so high i want this guy to come down a little bit yes so it's preserve, it preserves part of my details and also it uses the noise from my image. So I like putting it around the average, around 50, 45, 40, 47, around that. As just as this said, it all depends on the picture. Also, reduce color noise. So this is the the main guy here. You know, this window is called reduce noise. And I said I want it to reduce my the color noise in my image. So the more I increase this guy. The more it reduces the color noise but be very careful once you pop this guy so much the image start looking plastic again so make sure you are you are doing this smartly okay okay i like that let me just come down a little bit okay 
this one said sharpen details now my image how sharp should it be see if it's if it's so sharp my noise comes back again so again i would like to put out that one at average you get i would even like to even reduce it below average okay around 32 okay then once i'm satisfied with the setting i click on okay and zoom out now we are done let's hide this you see and let's see let's see this is the, the initial image the image i started with this is it now this is our new image are you seeing transformation wow that's pretty much crazy uh, she should be smiling by now i don't know why she's still finding that <laughs> so it's pretty much amazing so with this this is one basic step to pop any image from low quality to higher x5 i could actually work with this right now and remember do not cram any of these settings do not cram the slider just learn the steps the four steps but every image has its peculiarity so when you meet up a new image make sure you're watching your preview as you are sliding your the the anchor or the sliders so with that people we we'll wrap it up here we come to the end of today's tutorial i'm sure you learned something today with all you to please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future tutorials like this tutorials that are really really helpful so subscribe to our channel hit up the small bell icon close to the subscribe button so you'll be notified about future tutorials love you and i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you